You've probably heard about Trap Neuter Return, or TNR. It's the most humane and effective way for volunteers, just like you, to sterilize feral cats who are living outside. When practiced locally in a targeted area, TNR is incredibly impactful towards reducing the outdoor cat population, which then reduces the influx of unwanted kittens hitting our overcrowded shelter system. Cats are cared for in a secure holding space before and after surgery. And they receive an ear tip to show they've been sterilized. Feral cats are then returned to their outdoor home where they receive food and support from a colony caretaker. We also provide training, mentoring, and support to help our neighbors practice TNR on their blocks. But many cats that we find in Brooklyn are not feral. They were not outside by choice. While this cat may have a tough exterior, my guess is that he once had a home. It's not that he doesn't like people. Maybe he loved them very much and was let down anyway. Maybe he had to be tough to survive. It's safer to be shy. Just to be clear, this is not a feral cat. This is a shy, stray cat. We don't know his full story, but neighbors say he had been hanging around for at least a year. Because he grew up around people and likely lived indoors at some point, our goal is to slowly regain his trust over time. Feral cats, on the other hand, grow up without exposure to people. There are no circumstances where it makes sense for a rescue or TNR organization to try and socialize an adult feral cat. That would be a very poor use of limited resources when there are plenty of friendly cats who want to be indoors still looking for a foster at any given time. If you listen for this low vibration, you can hear his first purr. We named him Morris. After relaxing in a calm, stable environment for a few days, he decided to let down his guard a little bit. And just like with socializing kittens, it takes time and repetition to build trust. We often see former street cats go crazy at mealtime. That's called food insecurity. And it often happens when cats didn't always have enough to eat. That can be very traumatic and make them anxious about where their next meal might come from. Can you imagine him in a shelter? When cats are stressed, they withdraw. As fosters, it's our job to show cats that they are safe. So they can show us their true personality. Chances are, 
That shy cat huddled in the back of a cage somewhere actually has a lot of love to give. They just need a special person to believe in them. When they finally opened up and began to trust again, it's really hard to send them along to another new start. But Morris deserves to be the center of attention in his own forever family. I really was a lot more negative and, and angry and everything else a few years ago, but that was that had a lot to do with um, stuff like that. So. I, you know, that was one of the main things that was what was bothering me that I wouldn't admit at the time, you know. So now that I've found that, the world seems a lot better. And our work continues because we know there are still other friendly cats ready to love again who might otherwise be overlooked. I like that. I like that.